We're going to talk about curve radio use cases and also talk about the ecosystem of future products. Hey everybody, I'm Dustin McKinney, Marketing and Training Manager here at Wireless Solutions. I have with me today my good friend and colleague Stuart Jackson with Motorola Solutions. We're going to be looking at some use cases for Curve's uh, Wi-Fi enhanced radio, as well as look look a little bit into the future of the ecosystem of products that are coming down the line. So, Stu, if you don't mind, give a quick introduction of yourself. Let us know kind of what you do, and then we'll get started. Sure. I'm Stu Jackson. I'm the channel sales executive for Motorola and our channel business, supporting this product portfolio and wireless solutions. We're going to go today through some use cases of our Curve product portfolio. So let's get started. Sure. Yep. So. Use case number one, Dustin, it's a high-end clothing retailer, mm -hmm. fine goods retailer, and they're using Curve in a couple of different ways. That's right. So these folks first came to us at a trade show. They were using a competitor product in the market that is communication uh, based over Wi-Fi only. They were having some latency and some dependability issues. So they approached us, said, is, there some, is this a product that would help us? Can we facilitate a POC? Obviously for us, that was an easy answer. Yes, absolutely. So when they got on site, they're actually using this for two type, uh, two scenarios. Um, first is from a retail operations standpoint. So this is for sales folks that are out on the floor, customer facing. We talk a lot about reducing ear fatigue with these products, right? So again, high end, I'm trying to sell a $5,000, you know, handbag, for example. The last thing I want is someone going over on my ear over and over and over when it doesn't even apply to me. So they utilize the private call feature for this. If I'm that way, you know, if I call you, Stuart, this is something that pertains to you. You need to stop what you're doing, pay attention, address whatever it is that needs to be addressed, and then move on. But on the back end as well, we have the voice message feature, which is yet another Wi-Fi enhanced feature. If I see that you're busy, I can leave a message to you. Hey, Stu, I see you're tied up with a customer. When you're done, come see me. I need some assistance with something. So I don't have to listen to all that chatter all Correct. day long about things that don't apply to me, or right. I could check my messages later on my own time. Yep. I can be very selective about real time or messages with this product. Yep, 100%. So also they, um, they you know, we touched on Wi-Fi enhanced versus Wi-Fi dependent. So the, the product that they had, they were having major issues, latency, unreliability, dead spots, you know, you name it, right? They were in the middle of a rollout or I'm sorry, an upgrade of their entire Wi-Fi infrastructure in all their stores. You know, I think it was north of half a million, close to $750,000. Uh, you know, I wish we could have got there a little bit sooner because we could have saved them a little bit more money. But anyways, um, this is Wi-Fi enhanced. So what do we mean, mean by that? This is just sending out a simple voice query or a handshake, so to speak, to establish a connection. After that, we're dropping. and We're immediately going to LMR communications, radio to radio, using our 900 megahertz license free frequency band that is super reliable zero static exceptional range so you know we're enhancing ourselves with these simple voice commands but ultimately we're communicating over radio they really really like that so it's not as wi-fi dependent as let's say some of the other products out there might be susceptible to network interruptions of some sort yep. the land mobile radio or lmr is much more of a stable communications platform absolutely that's Absolutely. great. That's great. So that's the operations customer facing. Mm -hmm. But this particular retailer, let's stay with them a minute. They have another part of their organization also using this product, correct? Yep. Loss prevention. So they're using loss prevention in all their stores today. They love the LMR communications. You know, loss prevention, every second matters. I got someone running out of the store with $10,000 in their hand. Um, the last thing I want to do is say... Right call loss prevention or call Stu. It's just, not me with the handbag, by the way. Let's just be clear <laughs> about that. So That's right. I just need to get in touch with everybody on store with a simple push of a button. So timing is everything Correct. for them. Correct. So, you know, two advantages. Enhancement over Wi-Fi, but simple, fast, reliable communications in the event we know where every second is crucial. Right. Okay. But with loss prevention, they use multiple devices usually mm -hmm. in, in their store um, solution how would we get sticky with them? How would we grow that conversation past just this one product? That is where we start tying in the ecosystem of products. So that's the beauty of this product. We've created the gateway, so to speak, that opens up to connectivity with a bunch of other devices. This specific customer was a is currently an Avigilon customer, Motorola 
um, a Vigilon IP camera system. So, you know, we've talked about integrating with camera systems where if, you know, whatever flags on that end can send a message directly to a radio and let you know the location, for example. Um, Wi-Fi help buttons are coming from a customer assistance standpoint. License plate readers, you know, high-end retailer. So we kind of got twofold there. Loss prevention, that's a no-brainer. You have a known offender, license plate comes up, hey, boom, automatically alerts the radius. But, hey, let's think about it from a sales enablement standpoint. We have a VIP pull up. You know, this isn't me, obviously, but some folks prefer their preferential treatment, right? So you can roll out the carpet, so to speak, and as soon as they pull on site without, I mean, and it's instantaneous. Mm -hmm. um, so this has opened up the gateway, again, where we are enabling these customers to update and add to as they go without having to forklift everything out, as you like to say. It's a simple software upgrade. So from a value proposition perspective, we have multiple ways to use the device for multiple parts of this particular customer and the ability to grow without replacing the entire system. 100%. We already have two updates that have happened to the device year to date. We haven't had to replace a single radio. It's all done over the cloud. You turn your radio on, it connects to the network, boom, you got your new feature set. Well, that's great. Well, let's move on to the third use case then. Okay. So let's stay with the retailer, but this vertical would be grocery, mm -hmm. right? So we have a big grocery customer, I think, and they're using this solution, but their features and value add, they are put a little bit different spin on what they liked about it. Yes, they like it from an asset management and a group or personnel management standpoint. So retail is really difficult right now from a staffing perspective. As we all know, grocery is probably hit harder than most anybody. You know, how many times have I been to the grocery store and bagged my own groceries in the last two years? Every single time, you know, it kind of, you know, mm -hmm. so we all understand that there's just not enough bodies. So with that, how do you manage who's in the store, where are they at at any given time? These folks in particular, they really like the virtual groups that we've created with Curve in this backend system. So I can log into produce, but you know, I may need to flip over to the front end in the afternoon or you know, meat, seafood, whatever it may be. It's a simple voice command to switch groups. I don't have to remember what channel am I supposed to be on. And that's why we call it virtual because Correct. there's no reprogramming done and they can easily switch from one group to another or add groups exactly. or delete groups as their business function changes in that workflow. Exactly. So it's a simple press to change groups. And for me, if I'm trying to get in contact with somebody, I may not know what department you're in right now, but I know you're in the store. So I say call Stuart. I can utilize that direct call feature. But I can also say I just need to talk to whoever is on the front end today. So I say call front end, and that's going to call the group of whoever's logged in at that one time. Mm -hmm. Now, they also like some of the tracking functionality mm -hmm. using the Curve portal as well as some of the analytics. Can you share right. a little bit about that? Yep. So there's a, there's a wide variety of analytics that's included with the portal. This is included with your subscription. You have unlimited user logins. So, you know, it's really versatile. You can change permissions as to what people have access to see. But just to touch on a few of them that they like specifically, they really like the group and login history. You can see who was logged into what group. You can check your message history, who's messaging who. So from an accountability standpoint, we can see where any lapse in communications occurred. So, you know, if Dustin sent a message to Stu, and you read the message, I can see what date and time you played the message, so I know you received it. Mm -hmm. But something that can get done, now we sense where that breakdown in communication is. Now we know Stu's not doing his job properly. Well, we already knew that. <laughs> but in addition to that, you can also start to see where the usage is in different parts of the store, depending right. on those button presses, yep. right? Yep. And then um, the newest edition with the most recent update, we have radio-specific history. So I can see who logged into what radio. So this customer, for example, they are a, they're an existing radio user today. They use radios in all their stores, but they have a lot of them that walk off and never come back. So again, accountability in, you know, in combination with the efficiency standpoint, we can track who last had a radio. You know, we're assuming we're going to have a lot less radios disappear. So again, it's, it just adds more value to that ROI of yep. using this particular system. That's right. Well, that's great. Those that's are right. three great use cases. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing those. Yep. So we want to touch on uh, proof of concepts. So uh, when we go to market, how can we add value to our reseller partners and end user partners? Uh, we do this in a couple of ways. First is our POC demo kit. So we include everything that's self-contained. This is a Wi-Fi enhanced device. When we say Wi-Fi, 
first thing that comes to mind is, oh, now I have to get IT involved. It's complicated. Yeah, it may That's work, right. may not. Yeah, right. sales prevention, some people call right. it, right? So uh, we love them. Um, you know, I, I appreciate everything that IT does. But that's the reality of it. They don't want to put anything on the network. And hey, I get it 100%. So what can we do to make this easier for our customers? So we include a self-contained system, so to speak, where they can take the radios out of the box, test them today, see how they work, and IT doesn't have to get involved. Mm -hmm. So, so we, getting that off the ground is very simple, very safe and easy yep. of whatever partner or customer you might be presenting it to. That's right. And then it, from an education standpoint, we also include uh, many, a few different mediums, so to speak, of education, such as our Getting Started Guide. So this tells people how to use the radio, what accepted voice commands to do what, so on and so forth. We also have a QR code you can see there. So videos right now is the number one education source for folks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when's the last time, anytime I need to fix something, you know, on the car or something around the house, I go to YouTube, right? So we want to keep that in mind. We want to give people multiple methods to educate themselves to feel more comfortable with the product. So we also do a lot of videos as well. That's great. And now there's some flexibility. We've been talking about retail specific, but this product would work in other verticals as well. Yes. Maybe healthcare, yep. maybe assisted living, mm -hmm. maybe some hospitality type yep. environment. So it's not just limited to retail, right? Correct, correct. It's 900 megahertz frequency hopping. That's Motorola proprietary technology. Uh, extremely popular in healthcare, you know, for HIPAA concerns and so on and so forth. Um, someone can't sit out in the parking lot and scan your radio frequency and hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the digital platform as well gives you better sound quality, mm -hmm. better range, better battery life. So yeah. you get all of the traditional radio features plus better land mobile radio features plus then the new Wi-Fi enhancements on top of That's that. Right. So it's really getting much closer to a complete solution for communication. Yes. And then you add the ecosystem on top of that. That's right. This is an exceptional radio product out of the box. Wonderful range, zero static, 10 channels. And then, hey, guess what? We can add on. We have some additional touch points and upsell opportunities with these future additions and hey, what's available today as well. That's great. I'm looking forward to watching this portfolio just expand and not having to change everything out and start over again. We just keep growing as the customer needs keep evolving. That's, that's, right. that's great information. Thank you very much for sharing. Yep. yep. That's all we have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. For Motorola Solutions, we love you and we appreciate you all very much. Thank you. That's right. Thanks, Steve.